create a new Xcode project. So default is single view application. I'll just say next. I'm going to name this as capitals. So my name and the language is going to be Swift. I could choose iPhone or iPad, but I'm going to go with universal and next. So I'll create a new folder capitals and say create. So on the left side, I'll be mainly using view controller dot shift or main dot storyboard. So let me go to main dot storyboard and uh, it brings uh, this screen here. Let me bring this up. So at the top, I want to use the label. So I'm going to put it in the center, somewhere in the middle at the top. And basically this is a placeholder for the questions. So let me make some more room for this. And we can center this. We can increase the size of the text. And let me also give some color to the background. So let's have some light blue color. I'm also going to give a color to the entire background. Background is white right now. And let me choose something like this. And then I'm going to add four answer buttons. And for that, I will pull buttons below the label. And this also is going to be in the center. I'm going to change the background color. Okay, let's go with light green. I'll also increase the size of the text here. Slightly darker text. And I'm going to copy this. And below these buttons, we can have one more button for the outcome. So we'll do this in the center, change the background color and then the last button is to go to the next question so we'll use a button there maybe somewhere here So we are going to call this as next. So I'm going to bring in the assistant editor. We'll make some room here. We go here and do right click and then add an outlet. And we are going to call this question. and then say connect. Similarly, we go here and add this one by one. And we are going to call the first button as answer one. Answer two. Answer three. Answer four. Similarly, we'll right click and add this. We'll call this outcome. Similarly, we'll add this and we'll call this as next.
similarly we are going to create some room and bring this here and call this as action and let's name first button as answer one action we repeat this We also do this for next button. So this one we are going to call just next. So let's go to standard editor and then go to view controller dot shift. So I'm going to clean this up. I'm going to add a variable correct answer equals string so we are going to use this very soon so let's create a function first and we'll call this as random and then enter and let's add a variable called random number so to generate random numbers we'll use arc for random and parenthesis and with the percentage sign we are going to create four questions so i'm going to put four here and because uh, they will be numbered from zero like zero one two three what i will do is i'll make use of random number so that we have numbers as 1, 2, 3, 4 instead of 0, 1, 2, 3. So I'm going to create those four questions and situations. I will start with switch and then enter case 1. So remember our question label is named as question. So we'll use question dot text equals we can write the question here and then out of the four answers first answer answer one and we can say dot set title so let's give different options uh, like delhi And then comma for state dot normal and close the parenthesis and we do this for four answers so let me copy this four times and we change this to two and let's have the correct answer in the second question so let's say Tokyo And then we can say correct equals two. And then we enter a break. So let's uh, repeat this whole thing for four different cases. So we call this two and let's change this to some other country. And this time answer is one and then we can say default so we have four different questions so I need to change this to three and four I'm going to create one more function f u and c we'll call this hide and we'll see what it does very soon enter so our outcome dot hidden equals true 
and next button dot hidden equals true so this is height function and we'll create one more function f u n c unhide is equal to false this should be capital now let's come to the action buttons so let's add some commands here so we'll start with unhide now if within parenthesis correct answer equals one we start this and hit enter outcome dot text so what we will see in that outcome area is this equals correct and then below this else outcome dot text equals you can say try again so we have given both options so let's uh, copy this for second answer button then the third one and then the fourth one and uh, after next for the next line we can indicate random and height we also need to add height and random here so a little bit of cleaning okay so this is ready so let's uh, run this and see what we get so build succeeded let's look at the simulator so this is the first screen but uh, not everything is fitting within the screen so let's uh, make some adjustments i'll go back to main storyboard right click and drag and then you can say center horizontally in container we can repeat the same action for the button so right click and then contain center horizontally in the container uh, we can also do it for label although we have not seen this uh, yet because it was hidden so far so we'll stop and run so let's see what we get in the simulator so now you can see that uh, options are more centralized and these uh, fit in better than the previous screen that we had so let's say if i say paris it says try again but then the next button is not really working well so we need to go back and correct that so i'm going to bring this in the center so i need to make some correction we had this answer one action and for two we should have two so this is three this is four what is the capital of france i'm going to click on paris so united kingdom let's give an incorrect answer so it says try again so let's hit the correct one we can move to the next capital of india delhi so now it seems to work fine so this was a very simple example of how to create a quiz by using xcode